it's only his second day in the job but the new Greek finance minister, Euclid Tsakalatos, has been given an immediate demonstration of the intense level of media scrutiny that the role brings. He failed to cover up his notes after leaving key meetings with Eurogroup members as they attempt to agree a new bailout deal. Within hours commentators were trying to decode their meaning as they circulated on the internet. The key reminder in his notes appeared to be no triumphalism. Presumably a reference to the weekend's referendum which rejected the Eurogroup's bailout plan. The notes also appear to have a reference to the Greek Communist Party, the KKE. Other commentators are speculating on what words are covered by his thumb, including what proceeds on viability grounds. Inevitably a few satirical versions of the note have appeared on Twitter. However, Mr. Tsakalados is not the first politician to accidentally expose his secrets in the name of a photo call. In 2009, the UK's most senior counterterrorism police officer resigned after accidentally revealing secret documents as he entered Downing Street. This led to a major anti-terror operation being brought forward due to fears that it may have been compromised. The UK's ex-housing minister Caroline Flint revealed her fears about property prices in 2008. She was photographed with briefing documents that said, We can't know how bad it will get. But the minister wasn't too concerned about the leak, shrugging it off saying, These things happen. The former governor of Alaska sparked controversy and ridicule after writing notes on her hand for a speech in 2010. Presumably due to size constraints they were kept brief. Energy, budget cuts, tax and lift American spirit were written on her palm. Budget had been crossed out and appeared to be replaced with tax. U.S. comedian John Stewart questioned whether the notes were actually necessary, asking, you really need to remind yourself to lift American spirits. She did continue to write on her hand at certain events, but as a joke for the crowd.